Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Revelation chapter 5 speaks about the book that is sealed with seven seals. John, the apostle, were taken by spirit to see what should be. John could not know what is written in it since the book has been locked with seven seals. It is secretive and undisclosed. Even the twenty-four elders who represent the priesthood of the Old Testimony and the New Testimony, saints and angels, with all its different ranks of powers and authorities could not unfold the seven seals to read the book. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals, Revelation 5 to 1. Some interpreters claim that within and on the backside represent prophecies of both testimonies about the end of the world, with one testimony on one side. As there are a lot of events that will happen and it is so discreet that no one deserved to unlock these seals from heavenly powers and authorities. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book, and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. John was standing in front of God's throne, a place of joy, peace, and gladness, with no sobbing or weeping. Yet when John saw there is no one can open the book, he wept a lot. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. The elder advised John not to grieve, because Jesus Christ had defeated death. Who is that lion that John heard about? Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. In Genesis 49-9, when Jacob gathered his sons to bless them, he said about Judas, Judah is a lion's whelp. This is one of prophecies about Jesus. He is a descendant son of Judah, as the incarnated son of God. And the root of all creations, he came before David. When Jesus asked the Jews, Who is Christ? Is he son of David or God of David? They reply he would be son of David. And Jesus then asked them about David. Possums, then how David said the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand. This is Jesus Christ's divinity. John heard that the lion from Judas prevails to open the sealed book. But John did not see the lion, he saw a lamb. Jesus is a lion from the divinity side and lamb from the son of man side. Lion because of his lordship, authority and power and lamb because he is slaughtered, sacrificed his life for us. This moment is unique. If we thought how Jesus Christ was on the cross, we find him standing and slaughtered. And how Jesus Christ resurrection we find him standing and have the wounds of nails and spear. Jesus said to Martha, in the book of John 11:25, I am the resurrection, in the life when he died he was still alive. And in the book of Luke 24-5, the angel asked Mary, Why seek ye the living among the dead? His salvation is forever whatsoever God doth, it shall be forever. The book of Ecclesiastes 3:14. Jesus Christ preserved the crucifixion wounds, even in heaven as an evidence of his love for us. When he resurrected and appeared to his disciples, he showed them the wounds in his hands. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Having seven horns and seven eyes the horns represent power, while the number seven represents completion.
He is entire and total, and despite this complete and total power, he offered himself a sacrifice instead of us with all his wealth. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father, John 10 18. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. He took it out as the book Colossians 2 3 says, In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, the wisdom of God that made him capable to unfold and read. The four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood, out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation. It a new song that is said every day, in every day, it is renewed, it is the same song and still new. This is what happened during Mass and Church, every day it is new in front of God, Psalms 96 to 1. O sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord, all the earth. It is the same songs, but with renewed feeling towards God. They sing to the Jesus Christ, the Lamb saying thou art worthy because he is slaughtered, and his salvation gave him the sole worthiness to take the book and unsealed it. Reign on the earth. This is not our known earth, as at the end of Revelation chapters. John had seen a new land, a new heaven, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Don't forget to subscribe.